Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. You might remember me from my other Let's Play series, like Final Fantasy 1 through 8. This time, you're the one who's getting ambushed. I'm trapped in the suck zone, and I can't get out! Run away! Run away! Someone get a turn! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! He is way too high defense, and he'll kill you! Run! Run! No one! No one is going to remove me from this fine new painting. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus Christ, run! A spaceship right there waiting for us in our general direction? Of course, why not? Today, we're going to play another one of my favorite games of all time. My second favorite in the main series, next to Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Final Fantasy VI is very close. It's number three on my list, and I'd be really nitpicking to figure out the differences between the two, but I like this one just a little better. This is what a JRPG should be, set in medieval times, or steampunk at the very latest. You know, a story filled with a veritable cornucopia of epic scenes, boss fights, yet still takes the time for plenty of silly moments, side quests, and exploration. This game is the complete opposite of Final Fantasy VIII, so I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. So come and join me in the world of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! If you don't own a copy of this game, you're missing out. I heard you can download it on the PS3 nowadays at the PlayStation Store, whatever they call it. I don't know. I've never downloaded anything from that, but... uh. You could get it on your PSP, or I don't know how that works, but uh, store it on a hard drive or something? I don't know. Well, let's get this show on the road here. It's quite a storm there. I don't think they're going to make it. Got a little captain in you now? Well, at least I got Umatsu back for the game. Yeah, this game has a great soundtrack, right up there with Final Fantasy VI. Made a lot of Mario Paint compositions from this one. Whoa! Oh, I guess that was just a NIGHTMARE! Whoa, nice job with the details and the graphics and everything here. I'll be honest, I like Final Fantasy VIII's intro better. I mean, it has the sword fight. How do you beat that? How do you beat a sword fight like that? But, you know, that's okay. I mean, they it's obviously, you know, just a demo to show you, hey, here's how great the graphics are in the game and everything like that. So I guess it's really more of a story thing for the intro. But uh, still, I mean, wow, look at that. It's almost hard to tell whether the graphics are just as good, or if not better, than Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, Final Fantasy VIII is more realistic, but, I mean, some of the FMV stuff is amazing that they do for this game. Wow, it's quite an airship you got there. How does that thing stay afloat in the clouds like that? Wow. Got a boy with a tail there. Did Toriyama escape from working on my other Let's Play series? No. No. Just kidding. Just kidding. What's going on? Yeah, walk into a room all alone in the dark. Kids are scared of the dark. Well, let's take a look around here. Light a match. I wonder who we are. We are question mark man. Now let's take a look around, see what we got here, like a hidden treasure. Yeah, now new to Final Fantasy IX, you get this little exclamation point whenever you find something. So you don't have to like constantly hit the A button to find a treasure like that. So we get 47 gil and we find a secret treasure here, which is a potion. All right. Uh, I guess we got to light the candle now. Is it a birthday candle? No, no, just kidding. Bon anniversaire! Ah, so that's how it works. I like how they introduce the character here, you know, Zidane. Uh, like they say, who goes there? Something like that, as opposed to saying, 
you know, like, introduce yourself, or some other lame way of introducing the characters of the game. Hail, Scrooge! Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, okay, well, what are we doing here? We work on this ship or something? Whoa, holy crap, what's that? It's boss time! Well, sort of boss time. Got the intro from the original Final Fantasy battle theme? Yeah, nice. Okay, first things first. Our, there are party members here. We're all thieves, so we can all steal. So basically, what I want to start off with is start stealing all this guy's items. Uh, unlike a lot of other Final Fantasy games, my characters die real easily. Now, now I'm going to leave him for dead. Whatever. But unlike a lot of other Final Fantasy games, bosses, enemies, can have multiple items, like the Mage Master. That was actually the one I was really going for. Uh, it's an uncommon item. It could take a minute or two to get, but it's nothing too hard. So now let's go after him. But yeah, they got multiple items that you can steal from them. So just because you steal once doesn't mean that you've gotten everything from them. But yeah, Cinna, he's a real wimp. He dies real easily, so I'm not going to worry about him. Let's just take this guy out. Mage Masher is our next upgrade for our weapon, so that's why I wanted to steal it. It's pretty uncommon, but like I said, you know, nothing too hard to worry about. I was thinking I was going to have to say, hey, um, I'm going to be back in a few minutes while I try to steal this item off screen, but apparently not. Well, just some guy in a mask. Uh, the boss's name there was Masked Man, by the way, just, just so you know. What was that? For some reason, Baku always reminds me of that guy in the forest in Zelda 2. Begu. Or Bagu, whatever. What was that, like a training exercise or something? Oh, okay, I guess we're having a meeting for some reason. So what are we, uh, what's our, what's our plan? Oh, well, yeah, we're all thieves. Oh, yeah, nice way of uh, switching it up here, you know, because usually, you know, in a standard RPG, the, your first quest is to rescue the princess, right? But here, we're thieves. We're going to kidnap the princess, you know? And that sounds vulgar. But yeah, yeah, we're... I guess we're going to perform a play uh, as a ruse or something to kidnap the princess in this one. What's an Oglot? Well, we'll learn more about those nasty critters later. What's my cue? Uh, we got to kidnap the queen? Huh? <laughs> nah, nah, just kidding. Uh, we kidnapped the princess. Oh, so that must have been the uh, girl we saw earlier, huh? Okay. Oh, nice background you got going there. I guess this is Alexandria. A lot of windmills around here. Never really noticed that. You know, you do the LP and then you just suddenly notice things you never saw before. Oh, and they got a black mage in the game too. Yeah, this game is full of references to the old Final Fantasy game, so I'll try and point them out whenever, well, whenever they come along, however it works. Yeah, don't fall, dude, with the airship. beautiful. I just had to be a little quiet for that part, so thank you, Sakaguchi, for making so many great games and for then leaving the company once it merged and do your own thing. I wonder if Last Story is going to be any good. I heard it's like coming out for the Wii or something like that. I almost thought about getting an Xbox 360 for, uh, uh, what was that one? Lost Odyssey or whatever it was. Uh, you know, when I was thinking about what system I wanted to get for, to play Final Fantasy XIII, but, eh. 
I'm glad I got it on the PS3. Oh, so apparently the Black Mage has a ticket. Oh, I guess now we're controlling him instead. And he also has no name yet. Well, we'll find out soon enough. But over here, we get a potion. Blue Midget got the potion. Whoa! Excuse me, your warship. Sorry. Let's get some other hidden items around here. Let's see. Ah, there it is. And here we got another potion. Now, unlike Final Fantasy VIII, I am actually going to talk to most of the NPCs around here. Apparently, the kids are uh, all excited about meeting the nobles around here. So, I'll try to talk to most of the NPCs, but if they're just, like, running through the screen, probably don't have as much interesting to say, so I'll just, you know, talk to whoever I want. Oh, so they have this play, I guess, once a year or something. Let's see. Ah! And over here, we get a zombie card. Uh, just like Final Fantasy VIII, we have a tri we have Triple Triad! Except it's called, uh, what is it, Tetra Master. So, yeah, it's a different card game. I utterly despise it. It's one of the few things that I really don't like about this game. So, oh well. I'll be playing very, very little of the card game this time around. It serves no purpose whatsoever. But apparently, we can watch uh, the play from rooftops. So. But yeah, I'm just a little uh, black mage, dude. I guess the nobles don't really care for the uh, lower class citizens. Oh, I suppose not. Now I'm going to be doing 15 minute episodes for the intro here. Because it does take a little while to get through everything. Because it's a big city. But, you know, I'll do what I can. Let's see. And over here, back against the wall, we get a lizard man card. I think there's one more thing that I can get around here. Haha! -ha! There it is. And here we get a Sahajin card. Okay, I think that's all the ones we can get here, so let's head on back then. We could leave the city to the right, but, the, well, we can't do it right now. But, I mean, eventually we can. But, yeah, the game won't let us right now, so. Okay, how's it going? I just love the, the medieval atmosphere of the game. You know, it really takes me out of my world, and it just, well, draws me into this world, especially with the NPCs, you know, just little backgrounds about various citizens. Apparently she's making a dress for her child, Aaliyah, or something like that. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Well, let's take a look around. Let's see, over here, I hope you don't mind if I raid your house of your savings of nine gil. Over here, we get another potion. Let's climb this ladder and raid the uh, dresser here for a fang card. I guess fang is like a wolf or some other weird creature like that. Okay, so far so good. I think I know where most of the treasures are in this game, or at least enough to get up to uh, rank S treasure hunter rating. So that should ha I hope that helps you out, viewers. Oh, so Trino is another city where they got some nobles, huh? We'll be heading there eventually, but not right now. I like so many of the towns in this game. Every town just has such a great, unique atmosphere to it. Here we get 33 Gil. Hippal, huh? Remember him for later. We'll be seeing him a few times. Here we get a goblin card. Let's check out the uh, pub around here. Like most Final Fantasy games, you gotta have a pub to get information and everything. Let's see, we get a flan card and 27 gil. And let's see, if I'm not mistaken, over here we can get something else. A potion. All right. Well, what is the Black Mage's name anyway? Well, I'm sure we'll get a more vivid description next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.